This episode is brought to you by Loot Crate, the monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear. Operating, that's not easy. We just performed some advanced easy. magic just now. <laughs> so hey guys, <laughs> welcome to a very magical episode of Nerdcraft. With the release of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, we are super stoked to go back to the wizarding world. Yeah. It's been a long time coming, I can't <laughs> wait. And um, to be honest, I'm just here because I love Harry Potter. I don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of my favorite scenes in Harry Potter is when they're in the Great Hall and those there are those magical floating candles. Mm. I thought it would be, why did you say, mmm? They mm, just sound hungry. so delicious. <laughs> Everything in the Great Hall is edible. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it'd be a lot of fun today to create some magical floating candles. With magic? With magic. Things you need. A paper towel roll. Magic. A glue gun with glue sticks, some white spray paint, a LED tea light, some white computer paper, and some fishing line. So the goal is to make this look like a drippy candle. Yeah, so with the wax dripping now. That's right. So step one's going to be taking the hot glue and dripping it down, making it look like wax drips. Ooh. You could add just a few, or you could make it look like a wax mess. Or, totally or if you cool. happen to own one of these Newt Scamander wands, you could just wave your wand and... I used to be able to do this. <laughs> I used to be able to make candles with them. Hold on, here we go. Candleism! We'll just do it your way. Okay, so Chad, you know in Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix? Uh-huh. That's when the books start getting dead serious. Sad. <laughs> Sadness. <Yeah. laughs> so let's start dripping some wax. Mm-hmm. Drip it. Now drip it good. So Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm doing it so messy too. Wax on and leave it on, don't take wax off. So is that stuff hot? Like, could you burn yourself if you weren't careful? Should we try? No! I mean, hot glue guns do get hot. I guess it is called a hot glue gun. But they dry pretty quick and you could even touch them after a few seconds, you're okay. In other words, very dangerous, don't try this at home. That's right. Well, you didn't realize it, but I also did one. Oh, fantastic. Turned out really nice. Yeah, it's starting to look like a candle. Except it's brown with hot glue. How do we fix that, Angie? Oh, well. <laughs> the next step is you're gonna spray paint the whole candle white. Don't you sometimes get the urge just to bite your wand? I know. In back in, in uh, when I was in Hogwarts, you're in class, it's a little boring, and bite your wand. Yeah, I've eaten a few, they're not that I know, bad. yeah, but it makes you feel magical inside. <laughs> Until a few days later when <laughs> <laughs> the magic comes out. Yeah. Once the paint has dried, you could take a piece of paper and glue it to the bottom of the candle to close it off. Yeah. So to make sure no light gets through. That's right. I got a tip. Craft foam. Better than paper. <laughs> if you can get your hands Very on it. Very true. <laughs> so that's, that's the way I like to do it when I'm crafting. Gluicus Maxicus something. So you took this gun, spread it around the bottom, and the paper sticks to it. You muggles are fascinating. <laughs> so you're not gonna wanna hang the candle up like this. I wouldn't. I never <laughs> saw any in the Great Hall that looked like that. <laughs> so you'll trim off the paper in a circle. Cutting it with some kind of a device, a metal handgun that destroys any paper in its way. Takes forever though. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It works. The next step is to light up your candles. Yes. Lumos plastic candling light. I don't know. I'm ruining worked, this video. Maybe I shouldn't be in these videos anymore. Just place your LED light into your candle. Now, if your LED light doesn't fit perfectly, you could add a little layer of 
hot glue in there to hold the LED light. I don't remember doing that when I did this last night. <laughs> That's a good idea. Wow. And that way you don't have to glue the LED light in. You can pull it out. And oh, wow. Out. There we go. What? Now what, do you throw it in the air and it floats or what? Let's try it. No! <laughs> double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Uh, uh. Beautiful. Now, if you're not a wizard, you might have to use some fishing line to oh. hang up your magical hanging floating candle. Archaic. But don't tell anyone. If you get thin enough fishing line, people might not be able to tell. As long as they don't actually look at it. So you're gonna wanna poke two holes into the side of your candles. Opposing feed, sides. Yeah, to feed the fishing line in. Fishing line into the hole. Fishing line into the hole. Fishing, fishing, fishing line. Fishing line. In... I can't get that high. You can now find that song on iTunes if you're interested. Link is below. Here we go. Ready? Let's lift it up. Whoa! It is floating. There's, Magic. It's, it's floating. How is it floating? Oh, oh! I accidentally got tangled on. Never mind that part. All jokes aside, once these were hung up and I saw them in person, that's actually really cool, Angie. Good you believed job. in magic. I believe in magic now. <laughs> so we have a question for you guys. If you could choose between world peace or attending Hogwarts, which house would you want to be in? Let us know in the comments below. Before we go, we want to give a special thanks to Loot Crate. Loot Crate is the best, in our opinion. Oh, yes. Monthly subscription box for a low monthly fee, you get six to eight. Uh, items, they have officially licensed gear. Everything's been really cool. We've been subbed to them for a yeah, long time. And this month's theme is a magical. Magical! Woo! They're gonna have Doctor Strange, Game of Thrones, Fantastic Beasts, yes. and where to find them, and more. So awesome. uh, you have until November 19th, 9 p.m. Pacific time to uh, sign up and get the magical box, but we just suggest uh, signing up whenever you can. And I have to say, I've seen a sneak peek of their figure in this month's box. Oh! Which you could see by going to the link below. I mean, you can see it, the sneak peek too, but it is amazing. Well, it's, I don't know it. It's awesome. It's don't spoil it for me. So be sure to check out Loot Crate. We have the links in the description below. Use the code Screen Team for a discount. And I guess that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye!